Hi guys, Salaam Alaikum. Today I'm going to talk about someone who was one of the greatest physicists of all time, maybe. And uh, usually I talk in Urdu because of my country, Pakistan. We are national language is Urdu so I try to communicate in Urdu but today I'm going to talk about him and I have some few words to say about Stephen Hawking who passed away this morning so I would like to say some few words about Stephen Hawking and uh, I would like to talk about his contributions he did in the science department Stephen Hawking, one of the greatest and physicists and cosmologists of 21st century, today has left the world. He was 76 years old and his family announced his death, saying that he passed away at his home in Cambridge this morning. He was well known for his theories on black holes, relativity, and for several books he wrote. And the one thing I personally learn about his life is that we should never lose hope. We should never lose hope in our daily life routines. No matter what the challenges are, no matter what the odds are, you should never lose hope. And guys, this guy won. This guy just not won in the science department. He, this guy won the hearts of million people. So, uh, he was, let me tell to the ones who don't know, he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis at a very young age of 21 and the doctor said that he'd only live a few years however the disease progressed slowly allowing him to live for more than 50 years after his diagnosis the doctors told him that he cannot live more than maybe five years but he crossed 50 this is the one thing it teaches me, it teaches you, it teaches the humanity never to lose hope. There is never end. He was physically paralyzed and lost his ability to speak in 19, uh, 1985. And he communicated through a speech synthesizer which he controlled by uh, twitching his cheek. And allowing him, he was physically paralyzed, his disability coupled with his work in the fields of physics and cosmology earned him acclaim from people around the world. Doctor gave him three years to live after he was diagnosed with ALS in 1963. He lived on for 55 years guys. He worked on with Roger Penrose to show that the theory of relativity implies that the universe started with the Big Bang and will end in the black holes. Hawking ultimately proved that the black holes emit Hawking radiation or heat and start losing mass after their formation in 1974. He also discovered that black holes aren't exactly black and appearing to be glowing like hot bodies. Stephen also published a brief book uh, which was called A Brief History of Time in 1988 which sold more than 10 million copies and became a bestseller. His other achievements also include the Presidential Medal of Freedom Fundamental Physics Prize in 2012, Copley Medal, which he got in 2006, 
Wolf Prize in Physics 1988, Albert Einstein Award in 1978. And some of his famous books and publications that include are uh, A Brief History of Time bestseller, Black Holes and Baby Universe, and other essays. The Universe in a Nutshell, The Grand Design, My Brief History, which was an autobiography. So, and he was uh, also surrounded by a bit of humor and controversy. Interestingly, the scientist was also known for his great sense of humor. At one point, uh, I remember he was asked that what do uh, Shelton Cooper and a black hole have in common referring to one of the main characters in tv series the big bang theory many of you have watched that show big bang theory uh, is a tv show and it has a character named sheldon cooper so a guy asked him about what do sheldon cooper and a black hole have in common and he replied after a brief pause that they both suck so Hawking also appeared in popular movies and TV series like Star Trek and The Next Generation to The Simpsons or a few of may you know a few of you may know that Hawking has been featured in everything from The Simpsons to Anne The Big Bang Theory. He was also featured in Oscar winning film Theory of Everything based on his university life. He also held controversial views about religion in his book the grand design he said that god was not needed for beginning the universe he added his children lucy tim and robert hawking sat in their statement he was a great scientist and an extraordinary man whose work and legacy will live on for many years his courage and persistence with his brilliance and humor inspired people across the world. He once said, it would not be much of a universe if it wasn't home to the people you love. Stephen Hawking's We Will Miss You Forever. Guys, please subscribe our channel, What's Tech and this tribute and a few words were brought to you by our channel so do subscribe it thanks for watching